Hello and welcome back super mums. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five lists that you need to make for a better, easier, happier motherhood. <laughs> please make sure you're liking, sharing and subscribing to help us reach more mums. So my list number one is things that get you out of a bad place. Now we have all been there. We've got loads of things to do. We've planned them all out and yet we aren't doing any of them. We are in our bad place. For me, uh, some of these things include washing my face and putting on a face mask, making a smoothie, I always have frozen fruit at home, but it's what, right, literally have them written down, I have them written down in my phone, so that when I'm in a bad place, I can go to them and go, which one of these is gonna work? It's magic first. So my number two is create a list of books you want to read. Now I use Audible, when I say read, I mean listen to, because I'm very dyslexic, uh, getting around to reading all the books that I want to read isn't gonna happen, I need to stick the earbuds in and listen to them. I will link Audible down below so you can get a 30 day free trial with that through that link. But having, uh, you can set up your wish list on there so uh, sometimes if it's a really powerful book I will add it on straight away and buy it straight away or add it to my list straight away, download it straight away. But you can also build up your wish list. So if you get recommendations that you may like, this sounds brilliant but it's not, I'm not in the right place for it yet, you can add that into your wish list. So having that list means you're not constantly just going and grabbing at any book and you're not forgetting amazing books that people tell you as well. So this will be a list you create now and then you let it grow. Number three is my list of go-to healthy recipes. We love cooking in our house, but I understand a lot of people don't and don't get quite so much enjoyment about looking for recipes as we do. But we still need our go-to list when we're suddenly like, ah, need to plan a week's worth of food, need to get the Ocado order done. How are we gonna do this? I can literally go back to, oh, we've got like five or six just really easy go-to recipes that either one of us can cook, because that's the other thing, we'll order for a recipe that I can cook and then it's my partner's night to cook and it all goes wrong. We can do all of these, they're healthy, they're easy, and we know that both ourselves and the kid love them. So my next list is things to calm you down. Okay, there is a difference between not being in a calm space and being in your bad place. Your bad place is about getting you up and getting you going, whereas your calm place is sometimes helping your brain shut off, de-stressing, maybe this is like you're too manic and you need to just rein it back in. There may be some crossover with some of these items. Getting out of my bad place can involve a short burst of exercise or a short stretch, whereas calming me down needs a longer burst of exercise or a longer stretch. It would be a, a long meal as opposed to a short burst of smoothie. It would be a hot bath with an exfoliate and a face mask as opposed to a quick wash and rub the face mask on. So there will be some crossover, but it's more about the calming you down, getting your stresses out. Uh, maybe this is something like morning pages where you just write and write and write and write first thing in the morning to just get everything out. But again, have it written on a list so that you can go to it in your desperation and time of need. And my number five is definitely something you need to do right now, right this minute, right this second, is five goals for the next 12 months five goals for the next 12 months. So in 12 months time, you can look back and actually have this feeling of accomplishment. Gretchen Rubin talks about uh, the formula for happiness being in an atmosphere of growth. We need to feel like we're growing and achieving something. And these goals can be from redesigning your sitting room to world domination. Like it's a goal and a target for you, no matter how big or small, make it personal so that it's really gonna matter to you when you achieve it, and you so can achieve it. You're awesome, you're super, remember. If you want to connect with other like-minded mums, please find the link for our Super Mums community page down below. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood, and remember that being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. Oh,